hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel with your girl here for lasha day taylor aka debbie press so guys in today's video i'm going to be teaching us how to do an easy makeup tutorial like an everyday look something very simple that you can easily achieve with whatever makeup product you have in your house so i already applied my moisturizer you can use any moisturizing cream and moisturizing lotion your shea butter any kind of moisturizing lotion then up next i used a gloss for my lip you can use any lip gloss you can use anything that has oil on your lip just to you know add moisture to your lips before you get to the stage of applying any lipstick or anything at all so moisturize your face or your face no matter what kind of skin type you have be it dry skin combination skin just make sure you have moisture on your skin yeah apply it every area your under eye your because good makeup is good skin <laughs> so i moved on to using my hydro make primer now when applying any kind of prim primer at all ensure that you do not apply the primer under your eye so i already applied it on my brows my t-zone which is you know the middle of my brows my nose my chin you know every other size part of your face aside the under eye then up next i use my adventure um foundation in shade fawn and yeah i applied it on my face then i use the but mario badesco setting spray you can use any setting spray this makeup is the easiest tutorial you can ever find like you can ever do then i use a damp sponge damp sponge guys make sure there is no make sure you dip it in water and ensure that you squeeze out the water totally then you apply your foundation on your skin you don't have a certain spray guys it's still fine you can you can make <laughs> your makeup will definitely stay to definitely set if you take your time with it but it's a very simple makeup i did it within i think 20 minutes or thereabouts but guys this is a very easy tutorial up next guys i use my eager and esther concealer to highlight you know i just apply very little you don't, you don't need to apply too much i applied it under my high on the bridge of my nose my my forehead my chin yeah just very little a little goes a long way then i waited for it to set a bit then i picked up my pro concealer in a darker shade you can use any dark foundation that you have then just apply very little as well apply it on your forehead the side of your chin like i did then i blended it out gently using my beauty blender and ensuring that i balanced it out you know to prevent any ash lines then i started to um, blend out my concealer then guys i made sure that i prepared my setting powder which you will see in a minute i used the mirac setting powder in shade cinnamon before i blended out my under eye to avoid creasing guys yes yeah, so i blended out the other highlighted areas leaving the inner corner of my eye as the last part to blend out as you will see now so yeah i'm just picking up my mirac setting powder by life of beauty <laughs> yes i use the chase cinnamon to blend it out so i blended out my you know the inner corner of my eye highlights then i blended it out i set the high with the setting powder guys a little goes a long way this setting powder is a very good product so any setting powder that you have or a normal powder just ensure that you set your under eye and set all the highlighted areas gently you don't need to pack or use too much powders so that you know if you use too much powders then your makeup is gonna cake like it's not gonna look natural anymore and we are doing an easy beginner beginners makeup routine this is a routine that i do when i want to go to church and i don't have what time i just i'm in a hurry so yes then i picked up my um, powder palette and used that dark shade to enhance my contour to bronze up my face a little bit more guys i didn't do this too much because the foundation shade that i had was already darker and as long as maybe you put your highlights guys your face should actually begin to look more defined so i just did a little bit of the powder i blended out using um, i blended out the lower my chin side my jawline yes to add you know just you know just want to contour just to you know make your face have more definition pretty much yeah so I used 
the shade also using a small brush I contoured my nose guys your girl has a big nose but I think it's my signature like I love it over the years I've gotten so used to my nose like I was so insecure about my nose a long time ago but now I think I'm cool with it like yeah so I don't do too much also with <laughs> with um, contouring the nose then I just started to bake a little bit guys you can totally skip this step it's not compulsory but like I said, just a little of the setting powder goes a long way when you want to bake. Like it's like there's nothing on my face, but I just use a little bit. Then moving on, I took my mascara wand. Just, I decided to just stretch out my, to comb out my brow ends just a little bit. Normally or usually I use a brow wax or a glue or a brow tamer. But you guys you can use anything if you have a gel that is not, non, like maybe a white gel. Or transparent gel you can use that you can use soap you can use anything that is sticky but that will dry easily then I used my pencil guys I don't do so much with my brows but my brows as long as I have, I have them carved out already it's usually very very easy for me to just trace out and I don't do it too dark like it's just <laughs> I'm so used to it already like it's just an easy routine for me then the other one so I just try to trace it out as well I outline it then do it inside but when i'm doing a very detailed makeup look like it's not everyday makeup look i take my time with my brows i either use a brow pencil or a um brow wax or what's it called like <laughs> the other one that people are using now <laughs> yes then i just took more powder to enhance my inner high to you know give my eyes some depth because guys your girl has little eyes but i love it my eyes are one of like my greatest assets like I love my eyes so much yeah <laughs> so I decided to take that um, eyeshadow palette like just any eyeshadow palette you have you could use a powder just you know add that I usually love my eye looking a bit darker because it just gives it this depth it gives it this this cute vibe yes it added a little bit of brightness just a little bit then later on as you're gonna see i decided to add um i decided to add glitter like just a little bit of shimmer in my inner corner of my eye inner corner of my eye excuse me you're gonna see what i did there like i have a bronzer i have all these things but i decided to you know use an easy thing that everybody can afford or everyone is supposed to have yes so i used the shimmer which you're gonna see in a minute of the eyeshadow to also um, create my highlights like you would see what I'm saying in a minute <laughs> yeah so I started to line my eyes not everybody is good at this but I feel like I'm doing a really pretty good job like within a second I can easily draw my liner and it's not gonna look terrible then I picked my mascara since I was not gonna do a lash and I decided to just comb it out a little bit yes guys so I feel like with time, with practice, you definitely know what suits you and what you're comfortable doing. And with time also, you would definitely perfect the heart of makeup. Like makeup is just like every other hard work. You, with practice and, you know, regularity, you would definitely get it done. Then I use this black on the high pencil. Guys, I almost hurt myself here. The um, pencil broke in my high. But guys, the, the secret is just to be patient. You don't need to freak out. As you can see, I brought it out easily, like within a second. Like, but if you freak out, then I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually confident whenever I'm applying things in my eye. Like, it's, it's eye product. I feel like people who make eye product won't create something that would harm you. Yeah. So I blended out the baking, the setting powder by tapping in just lightly. You don't need to be rough with it. Like, guys, can't you see my beautiful face? Like. And I took the pencil as well to line my outer lip because I didn't want to do something too serious. It's an easy makeup. Like, just, you need to go out and people will think that, you know, you didn't even really put in too much effort in creating this. And I used my gloss once more to just enhance my lips, guys, and setting spray, of course. But if you don't have a setting spray, guys, you're still good to go. Because if you take your time, your face will be so sleek and so pretty. Guys, aren't you loving how I am looking? It's not easy. So I moved on to picking the shimmer that I said, the glitter. And look at the places that I applied it in. It's just an act that, you know, anybody could do. If you don't have a bronzer, you don't have, yeah. 
So I just applied, that's eyeshadow. I just applied a little bit just to, you know, glow up a bit, guys. I need to sh shine up a bit. Look at how I'm applying it on the bridge of my nose as well. Mm. Your girl is a beauty queen. Yeah, so if you guys watch this video to this moment and you feel like you've learned a thing or two, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. I hope you have been able to learn a thing or two with my everyday look. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I put on my wig, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in my next video. Bye.